We are bringing another girl on to the brokerage. Really? Oh. Yeah. Well, Chris Shell. Chris Shell. Chris Shell. Okay. I really put a lot of focus on my career. So now I definitely would say I'm one of the top selling agents at the Oppenheim Group. And I worked really hard. And I'm finally in a place to buy my own house. So it's definitely looking up. Happy for you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Oh, you're so cute. Hi, cutie. Can I give this to you? Thank you. Here you go. I think there's a huge stigma with growing up in poverty or you know, being homeless. I mean, I think these charities are important because when you treat people in a bad situation with respect, that's when they really feel uplifted and maybe they can garner some change in their life. It's a moving thing to be a part of. Thank you, guys. Thank you for doing this today. It's awesome. It was honestly it's like so nice being here and, you know, just smile to people and make eye contact and give them. Yeah. And that's what, like, we, for me, like, our family was one of the families in that line. So ah. it's been like, so gratifying to be here, but also like it's hard to like emotional. Yeah, a little emotional just because it's like, you know, when you see that boy, it's like I remember being in that line. So I'm so happy that you guys did this. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess oh my today. Gosh. <laughs> I feel like at that dinner, you conveniently This isn't about making points right now. Can you stop? I'm trying to make points. I know, but you made your point, trust me. Can I reiterate and you get off my back? I always own up to my stuff. It, if in the moment I didn't know exactly what she was talking about, now I've already talked to Mary. I've told her everything I said. I've, I, I, I own up to everything I said. I understand that, but we came back from the bathroom, Maya and I, and we had asked you what you guys were talking about. And you said, I don't remember. I just said stuff about Mary and Romaine. Remember. Christine, I'm not going to have this conversation because with you. Because you know with that Christine. I'm right. Christine, here's the thing. You said you don't remember. Christine, it makes you sound like you're two faced. Also, I don't have to tell you what also, I said. Also, it if makes I don't you feel found, it. sound like you're two faced when you don't un own up to the shit that you say. Do you understand where I'm coming from? When I ask you, what did you say? Don't yell at me. When I don't ask yell at you, okay, what did on. you say? Hold and on. you don't yeah, own up to what you said. It makes you look like a crazy if person. If you keep yelling at me, you say, I'm not going to listen remember. to you. And I always own up to what I say. I said, yeah, I said this. So what? Yeah, I said Christine, this. I'll back it up. I've talked to Mary about what I said. But when I asked you at the dinner, you conveniently didn't remember. You understand the difference, right? Or do you still have dementia? Christine, Christine, what? With no, everything behind. No, no. I mean, come on. Yeah, no rebuttal because I'm right. No, it's not Christine, this is enough. I'm leaving. Don't do this again to me. We had a fight that morning over the phone, and I had, I never saw him since. We didn't talk things through, and before we had a chance to figure anything out, he filed. How did you find out? Did he like just come talk to you out of the blue or what? <sighs> um, I found out because he texted me that we were filed. He texted you? 45 minutes later, the world knew. He just blindsided you? Because of the crazy way in which this went down, people want answers. And I fucking want answers. That's shitty. Like, beyond shitty. I know people are saying, like, we were only married two years, but it's like, I was, we were together for six years. You deserve more respect than that. I'm, I'm, I'm good not being friends with you. It's been a very toxic, relationship having you in my life and so many times you've brought toxic energy to me and so I don't want anything to do with that. Are you saying that you will not give me a chance to be your friend? It looks like it's going One well. of them is going to finish in the pool. No, I think, I think no. actually... I, I've seen some... I have a good feeling, you know? Be 
you bet on. Every time I deal with you, you do something insanely, ridiculously hurtful, like telling all the girls not to like my Instagrams, like when you had a party and you made fun of me on the drink list to hundreds of your guests. She named the drink the Too Faced Chrishell. Okay, you know what, actually, it's Chrishell's Too Faced Tonic, I'm sorry. You know, I actually do have two faces for her, I have to say, because I don't like her, so I'm trying to be professional, and so this is probably the face that I give her. I, am I, do I look dead behind the eyes? You didn't because mean to hurt my you feelings? you had a party prior and didn't invite me. I didn't have a party prior. You had a party prior and you didn't invite Christine, me. Christine, we had parties on the same night, but I didn't put your face on a drink list and make fun of you to all of my guests. It's, to me, insane that you could do all of this crazy behavior and then sit here and act like nothing happened. This is my olive branch. I've reached okay. out many times. I do appreciate the apology. It's more than I was expecting. What did they say? Keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Hey, how's it going? That's never been truer than with Christine.